Woo, woo! Happy Friday, everybody. Hello, welcome to Sharing with Sherry live stream. Oh, we're in red today. I've got red. <laughs> yes, hello, Chrissy, the countdown does begin. Welcome, and we're live. Yes, you always crack me up. Hi, Chrissy, good morning. Happy Friday, happy Friday to everybody. How's everyone doing today? You guys all hanging in with me? I'm still waking up. It is 7.30 Pacific time. And I've been looking forward to this all week long. Good morning, Katrina, how are you? So nice to see you. Everybody let me know how you're doing, all two of you. <laughs> um, yeah, today was, I, I've been looking forward to going live today because as most of you know, I've had gum surgery and yada, 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 and it's been so hard to talk and it's brought up so many issues. Hi, Suzanne. Welcome to Friday, everybody. Today I wanted to chat about life, as I always do, but the beautiful mess that it is, uh, because I think so many of us, so many of us try to control and really hope that life shows up for us in ways that never cause pain, that there's no drama, that everything is just always smooth. And the truth of the matter is, of course that doesn't happen, but we don't have to suffer. We don't have to suffer in that pain. Good morning. Hi, Nikki. Nikki says I'm glowing. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Jody. Everybody say hello. I love when community comes together. And if this is your first time here, my name is Sherry Elise. I'm an inspirational speaker and author, the co-founder of thewellnessuniverse.com, which is an online resource, community, and platform of world changers, all here to help you along your path towards total well-being. Go ahead and join that. Sign up for that. But I wanted to talk about the beautiful mess that is our lives. Um, I think that what happens is that we live from moment to moment, and when pain arrives, we immediately try to push the pain away. And what happens when we try to push the pain away and we try to run from it is that it's always over our shoulders. Good morning, Nikki. It's always over our shoulders. It's always there behind us. It's always trying to get our attention because what happens if pain wasn't our enemy? What happens if pain was actually our friend? What happens if pain, and I know that's like some crazy thing to think about, right? But what if pain showed up for us to help us? What about if we invited pain in for a cup of tea? Now I know that that sounds like, yeah, Sherry, okay, I'm gonna have a cup of tea with my <laughs> pain. But the only thing that really that we struggle with in pain is when we allow ourselves to sit in it and we stew in it and we sit and we suffer. We suffer through it. Kevin says what you resist persists and it's absolutely true. And what happens is that when we have pain, we immediately want to numb it, right? We want to like, we feel it and we're like, ah, don't want that, don't want that. I'm going to go eat something. I'm going to go pour a drink. I'm going to go shopping. I'm going to go and do whatever I can to avoid that pain. But what if pain just wanted you to get stronger? What if you can take that pain that you're feeling right now and you can actually turn that into power? What about if you use that for your advantage? to be able to grow into a greater you, to be able to reach those parts of you that haven't been excavated, that are still sitting there underneath waiting to shine. What if you are a diamond that just needs some dusting off and all you need to do is be able to look at it and dig a little deeper to be able to see that you are the greatest you and can be the greatest you? Now, sure, it doesn't feel good. It didn't feel good when I'm suffering through physical challenges. It doesn't feel good when my heart breaks. But it doesn't mean that there's not something greater for me. It doesn't mean that there's not something greater for you. So we can try to run as much as we can, and we can try to avoid as much as we can. But guess what? This is life. And life is going to hand you some friggin' messy stuff. But we can either sit in it, roll around in it, invite it to stay permanently, or we can have a chat with it. We can pour it that cup of tea and say, all right, what you doing here? What do you want? What can I help you with? How can I make you feel better? Because when you can start to nurture yourself and really be compassionate towards yourself, 
then you're able to heal those parts of you that are begging and yearning to be healed. And there's not a single one of you, not one of you, not one that isn't able to move through something. But when you start to doubt yourself and when you think that the world is against you and you think that certain things are happening to punish you, that's when you make it more challenging to move through life. That's when you make it more challenging to live the life that you want to because you're so, so afraid of to feel that pain. And I'm inviting you to be okay with it. The sun is still going to rise every morning and you're still going to get up and you're still going to go through with your life. And if you fill your life and surround yourself with people that you love, doing things that you love, when those harder moments come, when those financial challenges come, when those people come and they hurt your heart or you're not just feeling great about yourself, you don't get buried in those because you have built yourself a foundation of trust and love knowing that you, you. And if you believe in a higher power like I do, I know that I'm taken care of. Every single day I say good morning and thank you. Thank you for caring for me. Thank you for holding me up. Thank you for allowing me to stand in my truth and my strength and my power no matter what comes my way. I'm going to take this little break of talking right now for one moment because I want to play you a song that always inspires me. And it's one of my absolute favorite lines of a song, but it's going to take a moment to get there. So just give me a moment. But it's really about being okay with everything and being okay with yourself and where you are and knowing that the sun is always going to shine. And that sun is you. <laughs> Can you guys hear it? There's no need to hurry when I hold it out my mind. But I'm still gonna shine. And I'll tell you why. It's an experience. It's a dangerous liaison. Sorry, it's just a little Friday music to get you guys going. But really, you can turn off the sun, but I'm still going to shine. No matter what comes your way, no matter what happens to you, no matter what shows up in your life. Jason Raz is the man. I'm actually going to see him at the Hollywood Bowl here in Los Angeles. I've seen him once and I want to see him. I've seen him be a third time. But no matter what shows up in your life and what shows up in your way, when you have that foundation, when you know that that pain is there, for you. Thanks, Suzanne. My friends always try to get me to stop singing. Um, but when you know that it's there for you and you can take something that's been handed to you and you can amplify it into something greater, you could turn that pain into power. You can make it show up for you and in ways that you can't even imagine, then life doesn't seem so scary, right? I mean, there's not one of us that, is there anybody here that's with me right this very moment that has not been through something painful? Raise your hand or say me. <laughs> if you have, I need to know what your secret is. Because the truth is, is that it's going to come to us. But like I said earlier, it's about suffering through it or it's about being uplifted by it in some weird way. That sounds weird, but it's about using it. Use the people in your life. Use the things in your life to make you greater. That's what life's about. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. So on this Friday, I would love for you guys to really embrace the things that hurt in your life and know that it's not against you. It's for you. Come visit me on my site. Sign up for my video newsletter. Um, as you guys can tell, I don't know if you've been noticing that I haven't been posting videos here every day. I'm just posting them on my YouTube channel and then sharing them. And they don't always show up for you guys because of Facebook and whatever wackery it does. So if you want to always stay in touch with me, the best way to do that is in my newsletter, which I'll put in the link um, below. I love you. And um, I want you to be happy. And there's really a lot of challenges that come our way that really fight against us. Um, and when you know how to handle them and you make yourself emotionally fit, you know, you, you, you know that you can be there for you. You'll never have to suffer through your life again. You won't. 
So take whatever's happening in your life right now, love it, embrace it, nurture it, be compassionate with yourself, look at yourself in the mirror and go, I love you. I love you. And I'm here for you. And watch how everything turns around. Have a beautiful day and, of course, a beautiful life. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to sign up for my newsletter. Don't forget to go sign up at thewellnessuniverse.com and join me over there and the beautiful community that's all about uplifting you. Have a beautiful day, guys. Bye, everybody. Hugs. Love you. Love you. It's the remedy. is the experience.